So for the first method, we're gonna head over to search and type in settings, click on it. Once you're on it, we're gonna scroll down and then click on troubleshoot. And then we're gonna click on other troubleshooters. Once you're on this, you wanna find network and internet and click on run, or it might say internet connections for you. Whichever one it says, click on run. And then you wanna follow all of the steps that may come up and it might solve your problem for you. If that doesn't work for the second method, we're gonna head over to settings again. And then we're gonna click on network and internet. And then we're gonna click on advanced network settings. Once you're on it, you wanna find your Wi-Fi or your ethernet. I'm using ethernet cable, but for you, it'll probably say Wi-Fi. So we're gonna disable it and then just enable it again and then see if that works for you. If the Wi-Fi icon still hasn't popped up for you, then we're gonna head over to search and type in run and click on enter. Then we're gonna type in ncpa.cpl, click on enter again. And we're gonna do the same thing. So for me, it says ethernet. For you, it'll probably say Wi-Fi. So we're gonna right click on it and then click on disable. And then we're gonna right click on it again, click on enable. And then you wanna see if the Wi-Fi icon has appeared. For the fourth method, we're gonna right click on the Windows Start icon and then click on Device Manager. Once you're on it, we're gonna double click on Network Adapters and then it will either say Wireless for you or Wi-Fi or it might say Realtek if you're using the Ethernet cable. Whichever one it says, just do the same thing. Right click on it, disable it, click on Yes, and then right click on it and then enable it and then click on Yes. And that should work for you. If it hasn't, then just restart your computer and that should fix the problem. Make sure you click on Restart. Don't shut down, click on Restart. 